Hi everyone, this is Ryan and uh, today we're going to be covering the very first topic in Forex, right? So the title of this uh, today's lesson is What is Forex? Alright, so let's move on to the slides. Okay, so what is Forex? Forex is basically short form for the foreign exchange market. It is known as Forex or FX or some people call it currencies. It is the simultaneous buying of one currency and selling of another via a broker or dealer. It is operated through an net electronic network of banks, corporations and individuals trading one currency for another and it is the largest financial market in the world. The volume traded is about $5 trillion a day. So when we trade currencies, we always buy one currency and then we sell another currency all right, simultaneously. You buy one currency and then you sell another currency. So let me just give you a very simple example. Let's say you make a lot of money right, and then you want to go for a holiday. So before you go for a holiday, what's the very first thing you need to do? You need to go to the money changer. All right? So for example, I'm in Singapore. Alright, so let's say I want to go to Japan for holiday. Alright, the first thing I need to do is I need to go to the money changer and take my Singapore dollars and sell my Singapore dollars and buy Japanese yen. So I'm selling one currency and buying another currency at the same time. Alright, so that's Forex. Okay, so just to compare Forex against uh, the stock market, Right? People say that the New York Stock Exchange is the largest stock exchange in the world. Right? But comparing it to Forex, it is very small. Right? The daily volume of the New York Stock Exchange is only 22.4 billion. Right? Whereas Forex is a $5 trillion market. So it's huge. Right? Huge. And this is daily volume. All right. So what is traded, right? What is actually traded when people talk about forex, right? Money is traded, right? Money is traded. It's like, you know, when you are trading stocks, you are buying stocks of a company. When we're trading forex, we are actually buying a share of a country, right? So if uh, you think that the economy of United States is going to be strong this year, then you're going to buy US dollars, right? So you're going to invest in US dollars this year, right? Or if you think that the Japanese economy is going to be strong this year, then you'll buy the Japanese yen and invest in the Japanese yen this year, all right? So price of a currency is a direct reflection of what the market thinks about the current and the future health of a country's economy. So if you think that this country's economy is going to be strong, right, or it's going to be strong in the next few months or next few years, then we will buy the country's currency and hold it. All right. So that is uh, basically what is, what is being traded when people say I'm trading Forex. Okay. What are currency pairs? Right? So there are main, three main groups of currency pairs. The first one is the major currency pair. The second one is the major minor currency pairs or also known as a major cross currency pair. And the third one is called the exotic pairs. All right? So the major currency pairs are most liquid and most commonly traded. Right? They normally contain the US dollars on one side. So for example, US dollar against Japanese yen, Euro against the US dollar. All right. So minor currency pairs or major cross currency pairs do not contain US dollar on one side. Right? So there's no US dollar on one side. So for example, Euro against Japanese yen. All right? Euro against Japanese yen is a major currency pair, but there is no US dollar. Right? So they call it a major cross currency pair. And finally, we have the exotic pairs. Right? So exotic pairs, the one currency is a US dollar and then another currency can be small from a smaller country, you know, like the Polish Zloty, the South African Rand or Singapore dollar. Right? It's not heavily traded, hence the transaction costs are usually bigger. So when we talk about transaction costs here, we're talking about the spread. Right? So we'll cover about the spread later in a later lesson. 
Okay, so currency pairs, right? The major currency pairs. So these are a list of the currency pairs, right? So if you notice, they contain the US dollars on one side, right? So Euro, US dollar, US dollar, Japanese yen, pound, US dollar, US dollar, Swiss franc. So these are known as the major currency pairs, right? So if you look at the currency, right? The first two letters is the name of the country. So for example, USD, US is United States. And then the third letter, D, stands for the country's currency so united states dollars jpy jp japan y yen all right next we move on to the major cross currency pairs so we have the euro crosses so that means they contain euro on one side and then we have the yen crosses so there's the yen on one side so we have the euro yen the pound yen Aussie yen, right? Aussie dollar against the Japanese yen. And then we have the pound crosses, which is uh, the pound on one side, right? So we have the pound Swiss franc, pound Aussie dollars, right? So these are the major cross currency pairs. Next, we have the exotic pairs. So not many people trade exotic pairs, right? Especially retail traders. So the spread is quite big, there's lesser liquidity. Um, I personally do not trade exotic pairs as well, all right? but these are just some examples, US dollar against Hong Kong dollar, US dollar against Singapore dollar. All right? Okay, so these are the most actively traded currencies right, in the forex market. So at the top of the list is the US dollars with close to 85%, right? so that means that 85% of the daily volume, right? forex daily volume, is made up of US dollars and then we have about 40% made up of Euro about 19% Japanese Yen is being traded all right so US dollar comprises almost 62% of the world's official foreign exchange reserves right this is according to the IMF so this explains why US dollars is uh, you know so commonly traded because a lot of countries view the United States economy as very strong right so they would like to keep United States dollars in their foreign exchange right so if you talk about a country for example um a country where the economy is not so strong you know so they do not want to keep their reserves in their country's currency they want to protect themselves by keeping their reserves you know part of their reserves US dollar part of their reserves in euro part of their reserves in pound or Japanese yen you know some other stronger economies currency so this protects the country from an economic crisis all right so basically that's all we need to know about forex right so that's the end of today's lesson right lesson one all right in the next lesson we'll be talking about who trades forex right so i'll see you in the next video bye